Hey guys, um, so I want to talk to you guys, so I'm going to be gone for the rest of October and going into November, and I may, I'm still probably going to check up on you guys and the approved memberships and decline memberships in the Facebook group and talk to people in the Telegram group, but I'm going to be pretty much gone for the next couple weeks until the beginning of November, um, so there's absolutely zero chance I'm going to be able to do any videos or anything along those lines, um, but... You know, um, I'm going over there because somebody who has been incredibly supportive to me um, is going through a really hard mental health issue time. And, you know, I've, if you guys have followed this for long enough, you've probably seen me comment on the fact that I'm going through my own mental health issues, have been for a couple of years now. And um, I'm scared, to be completely honest with you. I'm, I'm really nervous about going into the unknown where I don't have a lifeline. And, um, not being as in control of my emotions as I should be dealing with somebody who is really kind of in a lot of ways off the deep end um, where everything I could say could possibly trigger them and having ADHD and uh, dealing with that is just not a great combination so um, I'm nervous but um, that being said I wanted to address um, kind of one of the messages I put out the other day about um, me wanting to do an uh, a weekend right where we meet up and we talk and um, we do some classes that are live and um, and we do a little tournament and part of that is yes I, I indeed want to meet you guys um, and I'm, I'm really grateful for the uh, the people especially in the telegram group who have been uh, really really awesome I, I can name several people by name now that have made a world of difference to me um you know um you know and, and they're the people i know locally like uh justin who's a very close friend of mine and uh eduardo down in uh brazil who's uh you know wanted to do our own logo and all that and there's there's a lot of people there who've just really really been super awesome and i'm very grateful like, for you guys but what i really want to kind of see from the idea of us having like this type of weekend um, is that what, I kind of want to see the fruits of my labor a little bit. I want to see that um, you guys have been practicing. I want to see that you guys have been learning. And um, I want to see that come into fruition. I want to see that you guys uh, roll with control that you don't see as much with, um, uh, with newbies. I want to see you guys like being in that level where you've actually really taken this seriously and that you are um, improving in your wrestling. Because that's, again, all this is all, all about, you know, Yesterday I denied uh, membership to the Facebook group because this person wanted to um, just talk about singlet fetishes but had absolutely no interest in the actual wrestling side of things and that's not the spirit of this group. The group is, is really about us coming together as people who actually want to learn and want to um, engage and, and share ideas and all that. And, you know, I the thing that I've absolutely not wanted to have happen is for this to become a one-man show and you know a lot of times it still feels like it really is it's just really about whatever I produce and um, you know the few times that p other people have stepped in and they've um, you know made the striking video um, uh, several months back or uh, Eduardo making the uh, logo f logo for the group like little things like that actually mean the world to me and when people like talk about um, like singlet brands that they prefer or they buy in um, or that they have this technique or they have a lot of people, I've, I've seen actually quite a few people like posting, especially in the Facebook group, um, their workouts and things like that. And that is so incredible to me and I'm, I'm so incredibly grateful to you guys for doing that. Um, it, it really, really means a lot. Um, but kind of what I, what I wanted to say and what I want to see with the... Um, with the weekend if we plan it and I don't know how that's gonna happen I, I don't I don't have any skills that will help me set that up um, and I certainly don't have the finances to make it happen but um, you know I do have a gym that I train at and I can talk to Brian and be like hey um, you know can we work something out um, and that would be really really awesome to me if we could make that weekend happen um, but with that being said you know what what would make that weekend really, really work for me is, is one, to see that you guys have been practicing, to see that you guys have developed skills, um, and two, to see you guys compete and see you guys like really, really do well and, and um, do things cleanly, cleanly. And the third thing is that like if I 
actually participate in the tournament and I actually roll, you know, nothing would be more humbling to me and make me happier than me losing to somebody that has learned all their skills from me, right? Um, and that, and I mean that with all sincerity, like to um, have somebody step up and be like, okay, this made this impact on their life and, and they were able to actually do very well against me who I've had, you know, six years of experience. I have um, competed in multiple tournaments at this point in time. I've done a lot with wrestling in my life and um, wiped the floor with a lot of people. And if I made the difference where people really, really um, learned and they had developed really, really clean skills because of that, um, that would blow me away. It really would. Um, and really, I the thing that I, I want to kind of get with this group and kind of get with this community is that, um, for one, it's not, it's not about me, right? It's, it's about the ideas that we share with one another. So if, you know, you guys have been working on a, on a technique that I've shown you and you, you know, drilled it and you worked with a partner on it and something's not working for you. And then you find that thing, that little thing that worked for you and made that, um, part of your game, share that. Share that little tweak that you did. Um, I was just doing um, a class today at my school where um, we were working with dummies because my husband couldn't come and I have to fly out so I wanted to get at least two classes in this week before I go. And um, in this class, like, a stupid detail, stupid, stupid detail that, um, you know, we, we talk about when we t talk about the north-south um, uh, Kimura, right, where you're basically sitting on somebody's head, they're stuck on their side, and you jerk their arm around the side of their body. Um, and I wanted to apply that concept to an arm bar, right? So you get somebody up um, on their side, like in side mount or whatever, and they're guarding their arm like that. Um, and you, instead of just like pulling on their arm, you connect their arm to your chest, and then you move back with your entire body to separate that arm. And I asked my coach about that. He's like, I do that every time. Right? And so, um, but, but you know, six years of doing this, and it didn't occur to me to cross connect those two points. Um, and yet, you know, it's such a basic, basic detail um, that I should have gotten. I should have, be, I should have been doing this the whole time. But the thing is, is that, um, when I stop and I think about a technique, when I st stop and I actually uh, worked through something and I'd be like, this isn't working for me. This this part of it just totally fucks me up every time. Um, that's where learning happens, guys. That's where um, the benefit is. Like the difference between, you know, a blue belt and a purple belt or a purple belt and a brown belt um, usually has to do with timing. Um, it usually has to do with how clean people do things, how, how much space they give people. Um, so, you know, I've given you, you know, everybody, anybody that knows uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or submission wrestling or whatever, and who, or Samba or whatever, and they've watched these videos, um, they're probably going to be rolling their eyes and be like, everything here is really, really basic. They, I, I've given you some, a little bit more advanced things in there, but those basics are actually everything are everything that you need to know to be completely honest like brian tells us all the time that when he is um rolling against people of all levels and he's kicking everybody's asses even when he goes out into a tournament and he's like rolling against the second third degree black belt um he a lot a lot of times just goes with the basics and is able to beat everybody wipes the floor with everybody this uh brian is a uh, multi-world champion right he uh, before COVID, he was probably bringing home four or five world trophies every year and, and doing professional fights on top of that. So, um, so the thing is, is like when you're going through the basics and you're going through the way that I've discussed things and if the way that I've talked about them hasn't worked for you, but you've problem solved it and you've done it, share that guys. Um, and you know, if you find a cleaner way of doing something and you are smoother and cleaner than I am, you know, I'd love to see that. And so, you know, when we do this type of weekend, when we, um, review all this, when, yeah. And, and, and the other thing is, right, is that, you know, in the Telegram group, I've, um, shared 
videos, I gave, I gave them to Justin so he can share them so they can keep control over them, where um, I've done match analysis of uh, his matches, and likewise, I've done uh, match analysis of my own tournament matches um, there, and a couple um, notes for people who have shared their videos. Um, and, you know, the thing, that, thing is, is that a lot of times I feel like I'm pointing out all the things that other people are doing wrong. And um, I try not to do that as much as I possibly can, but I would really love to reach that point where um, it's, I can't. I'm looking at your guys' videos and I'm pointing out all the things that you're doing right. Look, this guy is setting up this uh, Kimura three, match, three moves ahead of when he actually goes for the submission. Look, this guy, uh, look at how well rooted he into the ground. Look at how well he's blocking. The other person's trying to escape. He can't get out because this guy's blocking. Or look, this guy capitalized on the fact that the guy wasn't blocking. Um, I would much rather start to see that type of thing. And it's going to come from you guys practicing. It's going to come from you guys um, drilling. It's going to come from you guys rolling. Because the thing is, is that watching a video does jack shit for uh, your development as a wrestler right it's it's nothing until you actually can drill it until you know it and then apply it to your sparring and then look at it and be like well why didn't this work in this round and then you fix what was broken about it and fix what was wrong about it so that you can actually start hitting that technique um in a way that maybe i didn't give you the tools to do so that's fine I, my my ego is would not be bruised if you found another solution so guys, um, I know I'm rambling on a little bit here, and um, but I hope this kind of strikes home with you guys. I hope this um, helps you and, and think about you know what what are my expectations for this community. Um, part of it is that I want you guys to connect with each other, and I want you guys to roll when it's safe to do so. I want you guys to drill. I want you guys to get better. Um, and yeah, absolutely. If if I participate in this tournament. And somebody's because somebody like came up to me like no I'm pretty sure I could beat you um, I'm down guys I'm I would love that and I would love to be uh, be the loser on that end um, just as much as I'd love to wipe the floor with you but um, really guys this is this is about making you better so um, help me help you get better by doing your homework and, and, and really working to get better and get sharing your ideas and sharing your experience, sharing your feedback. Um, ask questions. Like, even if it's not to me, ask questions to the group and like, hey, I watched this video with Chris um, and this technique's not working for me. It doesn't make sense to me. And if somebody else gets it and they, they make a video or they, they talk you through it and you get it suddenly, that's fabulous. That That's something that um, really, really would make this whole thing very worth it for me. So... Thank you guys for listening. I know it, uh, I went on for a while, but um, you guys mean the world to me. And I, I and I don't think I can say that enough. I don't think I can really drive that point home well enough with just words alone. I think you guys really need to understand that um, what I wanted out of this whole project, with, that, with this whole thing that I'm trying to create here, is I want to make you guys good. And I want you guys to share ideas. And I want you guys to make each other family. Um, you know, we have 50 states and then we have endless countries, um, people all over the world who, who have actually started subscri subscribing, people who have um, actually, uh, you know, asked questions and, and participated. Um, they're not all from the U.S. and that's great. Um, and if we can find connections all around the world so that, you know, you could go, like part of, part of my dream is I would love to go on a road trip and just meet all of you guys and roll with all of you guys. That, that would... That would be a dream come true. And, and you know, so, um, you know, do you guys' part on that? Um, make it worth it for me when I come to finally visit you because I, I actually do want to do that. I, I, it would, I would cry. <laughs> that's, what, that's how I would go. I would totally cry and I'd be so happy. So thank you guys for watching. Um, it's gone too long. I'm gonna stop it here. You guys have a lovely uh, three weeks and hopefully I'll get back to you uh, when I get back from Maine.